Okay, so to follow my last couple videos on this 2011 Kia Optima, I think it's an LX, 2.4 liter. I showed um, how to get these screws out and how to hit this to loosen it up. You can see the, the hammer marks. Um, caliper has to be replaced. So I have the new caliper. I already took it apart, lubed these, and made, took the brake hose bolt out and also made sure this wasn't uh, over tightened or stripped which has happened on the last three sets that i've had that's why i have two it's been up all right so i meant to take i meant to show you um on the video but these are 12 millimeter 12 millimeter and they're wet because i sprayed them and that's what ho that's what holds the brake hose clamp or bracket to the strut. And then this one is for the um, the ABS. So I'm going to knock this over, but the ABS is a 12 millimeter bolt here, and then the brake hose bracket is a 12 millimeter here and that's for the strut which i will be taking out um and i've noticed too i was just letting the customer know it's a lot of part a lot of marks on this car so if you're ever looking at a car a vehicle and you're the mechanic or you're not the mechanic and you're noticing like you know there's a there's an indication mark here okay now there's not that's not the mark that you have here like on the on the on the nuts or the bolts and a stationary object that would show if it loosens up. That's not what that is. Um, there's these, there's these, this is someone marked on here. This reminds me of an insurance job. Um, you can see something had hit the strut. It's rusty. I don't know. It could be a tire or something. Um, but whatever hit it, um, it just, this very well could have been a flood car and, you know, so if you see marks, number of indications on a vehicle like this, just know that it could have been damaged um, at one time. So make sure your titles indicate that they're clear and free. Um, there's a blue mark here on the inner tie rod. Same blue mark there. And then you have this teal round mark. I'm not sure, but... I don't see that on a lot of new cars. This isn't a new, this car just turned 10 years. I know we're here in Ohio, but um, I don't know. Not sure, but some of this looks a little bit more rusty than I like. But the front end's tight. Tie rods are tight, balls always tight. Stabilizer bar bushings, uh, body to uh, bar bushing is good. So I'm, we're going to be replacing the strut, the loaded, our quick strut, this caliper, the brake hose, this rotor. So I'm going to try to prop this up so you can see. I don't know if I can do this. All right, maybe this will work. I'm trying to prop my phone up. I want you guys to be able to see this. I know I'm probably in a bad spot. We'll see how that works. All right, so I'm going to get this caliper bracket off. It's going to be a... Um, I use impact swivels. I think this is 18 millimeter. Yeah, 18 millimeter. It's just easier this way than using a... Socket ratchet. Always hit them slow at first. Don't want to break it off in there. Oh. 
And believe it or not, most of the time the failure on here, which I showed in our last video, these will be jammed in there. And these are not um, at all. And what jams, the reason, it's not this one. See how that's smooth? It's going to be this one, usually. And it's because it has this rubber boot on there. There's a rubber boot right here. I usually don't put those back on. I take them off. I fill that void with grease with the anti-seize mix. Never had a problem with those. Every time I make sure that my hardware kit with the rubbers have that third piece in there and I put them on, I don't know if it's the petroleum I'm using or if it's the sil silicone or what. They swell up, they jam, and customers going to have an issue with the brakes riding and wearing out quick. And this one is jammed, no matter how much lube I put in there because of that rubber bushing. And we take these off, got to make sure if it's got a washer, it's a washer, you don't lose it. These are lock washers, you can't replace them with regular flat washers. And of course, the rotor's going to come right off because I beat, beat it last time. Here's a new rotor. These are going to be rusty. All right, so now I'm going to get the caliper off. I already got, like I said, got these off. This is a 12 millimeter. It's a lot easier to take this off when this is mounted. But at the time of the first video you've seen, I, was, I had taken this off because I thought it was just going to do a regular brake rotor job. And no. I feel like mounting it back. So I'm going to try to get this off. 12 millimeter. So I'm going to try to, I'm not worried about breaking the hose because I'm, this is all getting replaced. So I'm just going to try to wedge this. Grab my hand on the tie rod to hold the caliper in place. These are usually tight. We'll see if I can do it like this. There, see? And it should come right out. I don't know if you see that in the video. I tried to zoom in. It should come right out. And I'm uh, not saving this. This is all going back to the core. I don't know if the core, can't remember what the core charges, but I never keep these. Mechanics don't rebuild the stuff like they used to. This, you kind of wiggle away, or you stick a flathead screwdriver right there and pry it or a little pry bar, and just kind of twist it, and it comes right off. And normally you want to make sure that the coppers are off when you're replacing, but this one, like I said, this is going back. So what you do is you just put this back in. This is a core. I don't like it leaking all over in the box. So I have a container I put this stuff in. I don't reuse it. I dispose of it at the local Advanced Auto or AutoZone. Here's the old caliper bracket. And when you're turning cores in, this is my tip. Make sure before you put everything back, and they say they'll charge you if you're missing anything, <laughs> make sure that what you're replacing, you have everything that you didn't accidentally give them bolts that you didn't get supplied with on your core. Because then you're, you're going to send it away and you're not going to have your bolts. Which I can't, I can't find the ones. But anyway, so like I'm saying, this new loaded caliper is a, is a Cardone or Bosch. Or Cardone. I think it's Cardone. Actually, this is a Kia rebuild. That's right. They went and got me the better one. I have all the hardware I need. The bag's got the clips. So I'm good to go there. So this is ready. We'll get this under here, collect a little more rust, <laughs> and then to take this off, it's just going to be the, I, I'm going to shut the video off, my next video is going to follow this one, it's going to show um, how to get the brake hose off the car, and then at this point, I'm probably going to install the new brake hose. All right.